What's going on, everybody? Um, so, um, I I forgot the brother's name. I just subscribed to him uh, about two days ago, and he covered this story concerning a uh, a white girl who had a baby. And um, and she threw it out of a second story window. Um, now you can go and check the story out. I'm gonna leave the brothers. Um, I'm gonna leave the link to his video in the description box and at the end of this video. Uh, just in case you want to watch it all the way through. Um, but what I want to talk about in this uh, in this video was the sentencing for this um, for this girl. Now, mind you, she is she is a 16 year old white girl. Many of you probably don't remember back in um, the mid 2000s. I want to say I was um, I was in middle school then. I want to say either middle school or uh, or my last years in. Elementary. I can't remember. I have to go back and check the uh, check the story. But there was this 15 year old black boy who um, who was practicing wrestling moves or playing wrestling moves with his. Um, I believe she was five years old or four years old. Um, his four year old, five year old sister. And he accidentally killed her. Got life in prison. For an accident. This this happened in Florida. I remember that for sure. Now I can't remember where this little white girl was. But this white girl was told to deactivate her Facebook account. I believe it was 50 hours of community service. Somewhere up now, I believe it was 50 something hours. But that's like two and a half days or three and a half days, depending on how many hours she decide or how many hours they decide that she works that day. But When, when I when I talk about white privilege these are the type of things that I'm talking about you have to understand that white privilege isn't something that you just you just um, you just have you know um, it's accessible to you you can it's, it's like you could choose to operate in it you can you can choose to operate in it um, you know whether you want to or not you know it's um it's readily accessible okay and you may you may want to pay for your crimes you may want to pay for your crimes but the system may want to use your crime as a um as some kind of um, um, some kind of um, agenda some kind of um, I can't think of the word but something to get the black community aroused and up in arms and ready to ready to fight 
You see what I'm saying? So, um, and I don't want to give my com- my complete overstanding of white privilege away because I am going to start writing a book on um, on white privilege. I'm going to be debunking a few of the debunkers who think that white privilege doesn't exist or white privilege is the real thing. They don't know um, how it how it works. This is something that you really have to look at. You really have to look at it. You have to look at the situations. You know, you have to look at, you know, society as a whole completely. You know, um, not just um, the Asians or the East Indians and all these other people who are prospering here in America. It's not about you prospering. It has nothing to do with finances, even though it does play some kind of role in privilege. At least that was the inception of white privilege. The inception of white privilege had everything to do with finances, had everything to do with currency, money, you know, and wealth. Um, but what we are, um, what we're looking at here is a, is a perfect example of white privilege. No matter if she wanted to, 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 um, operate it or, um, you know, no matter if she wanted, wanted to have it or, or not. It was put up on her. The privilege was put up on her. Had this been a black girl, this black girl would have been deemed worse than psychotic. They probably would have came up with all kinds of um, false um, um, false stories concerning the black girl. If the, if there was a black girl who had done this. But, you know, I I don't know what else to say, uh, but I just wanted to point out the the differences between a 15-year-old black boy and a 16-year-old white girl. I don't care if, if her last name is Lopez. I believe her last name was Lopez or something that was Mexican. You have to understand and overstand that um, a lot of these um, a lot of these Mexicans. Um, matter of fact, let me put it like this: the lighter version of any indigenous people is considered a white person. Now that may that logic may sound stupid to you, but think about it. I want you to think about it. The white people here are the opposite of the black people that are here. The um, the white Indians are more more so represented in media than the red Indian. The white the yellowish white Asian is more so represented than the darker yellowish brown Asian. Okay? So, is it with the Mexican? You see what I'm saying? Mexicans are more darker, more darker, a darker shade of brown. Okay? But, um, This this is, you know, white supremacy, white racist supremacy by way of white privilege or white privilege by way of white supremacy. It is the higher ups who are controlling who gets the privilege and who doesn't. See, you have to remember, this is like chess. OK, it's just like chess. Even though these white people are on the same team, 
you choose which pawn you want to become a knight, a rook, or bishop, or queen. And in this particular case, the pawn, which was this dingy little white girl, she was elevated to a knight. This move, this move that was made may not affect the nation. It may not even affect the uh, the city in which it happened. But it but it is a mark against the consciousness against the consciousness of of black people we have to whenever whenever something like this happens within the black community we have to wonder if we're going to receive the same mercy as this is this little white girl did and and I don't think that that is the case um and I can I can compare cases all day long and this is how I came to the conclusion that white supremacy uh what white privilege does exist that was the first way I did it this was before I got the book how white folks got so rich how white folks got so rich just topped the uh you know it just topped the cake for me it it sealed the deal so a lot of you people who are saying that white uh, privilege doesn't exist, you do not know your history. You do not know your history and you do not know the history of this country. Let me repeat that. You don't know you don't know your history as a white person, nor do you know the history of this country. Every black person that's talking about privilege, you are a stupid fool. You are an idiot. Because nor have you done your research on being a black person in this country, nor have you done your research on this country and its inception and how it became the country that it is today. Nobody just up and said that uh, nobody just woke up and said, I'm going to murder somebody today. Nobody has done that. These these um, thoughts, or th this mindset was created by this country that we are in, you know, but I don't want to take off topic. I don't want to take off. I don't want to veer from topic. Keep in mind, 15 year old black boy versus 16 year old white girl kills her own child. By throwing it out of a window. This is intention to kill. A little black boy playing wrestling moves with his five-year-old sister like all of us did or all of us do currently. I still play wrestling moves with my son. Me and my sister did it when we was kids. Because these were things that made us tougher. But this boy got life. No intention on killing his sister. Got life. We as black men, we are viewed as beasts monsters no matter what age we are <laughs> I'm whenever it's me and my son and I'm just taking him out and me and him pass by a group of white people or we pass by white people as we're walking I I wonder 
what their mindset is or what's what crosses their mind when they see him see right off top they are going to think of him as another rapist another murderer another thief and a thug they don't know how I raised my son I don't raise my children to to see race I don't think that that's something for them to to uh, to to really just venture into right now but I do want them to know that the government that is majority white is our enemy I'm going to just stop right here. I don't want to get too emotional. I don't I, I didn't really intend on this video to be this long. I really wanted to um, to end at the seven and eight minute mark. But, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. Leave a like comment. Um, check out the content on the page, man, uh, on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.